Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Welcome to another episode of Let's Build It. We are at Fairline Hill Estates, the rebuild. Oh, as you can see, there's a theme going on here. I think you've probably figured out. Had some crashes going on and got the dreaded uh, zero save space error, which is not good, especially in this build, how far I am through. And uh, I'll just get straight to it. Uh, my stupidity, I have lost this entire build. Basically what happened was um, I've got a lot of a lot of uh, builds. I was also working on my The Man Out of Time movie and I have several games saved in various spots to try and go back and you know so I can record numerous times to try and get the footage I want. And these games also as well have builds in them. This was one of those builds. And I had numerous saves, way too many, mainly because I was saving for the movie. So uh, I got the, you know, zero safe space error and decided I was going to start deleting. But at the same time, I'm distracted because I remember this. I remember this specifically because <laughs> I was on the phone with my friend. I was watching a hockey game. My setup at home, I've got uh, two TVs so I can watch something while I'm building. Anyways, I was totally distracted and I'm just deleting. Got over aggressive. And literally, as soon as I hit delete, I knew it was the wrong <laughs> delete. I, I knew it. <sighs> and the only save I did save, for who knows what reason, was an older save that's way before I even started this build. So essentially, I only had one save of this build, of all this progress. And little did I know that, you know, eventually I would delete it. So since then, I am now making two saves of the same save. So I will save the initial save, you know, save one, whatever it is. And then I will point my view to the ground or a wall or something that's a solid color or texture. And I will do a secondary save. So, you know, just when I'm looking at the saves and, you know, deleting them, I'll know right off the bat that the one that has the picture of just dirt or just a wall solid is my backup save. Since this, I've gotten some great advice from other viewers or builders that, you know, have some good tips about preventing this from happening or, you know, load order stuff, mod related things that are currently helping me as it is. But as far as this build goes, unfortunately, rest in peace. It is dead. It's unfortunate. I was really digging this build and wanted to finish it. I had a lot more plans for this and I do want to start another town. I'm going to start a new build at Starlight Drive-In. And I do have other builds going. In fact, I have one already completely built. So I'll probably jump on that, start cutting those together, get those up. So at least I have a fully complete build. But as far as this one goes, it uh, ends here. Ends uh, with this last building. I was able to just almost get that finished before I got the final crash. But for now, let's get building.
Okay, that was pretty much the last spot right before it crashed right there. So barely got that building done. But as you see, we've got the little nice garden store. And that's it. And now here we are just dead in the water and end of the build. But no one's more bummed than I am. Maybe I will come back and what I am going to do is maybe make my layout a little smaller. I realized once I laid the roads out and started building all these buildings, I realized just how big this thing was going to be. So I was getting concerned about size. I think it looked pretty good for what I was able to get done until the crashes. So. As I said before, I do have uh, plans for other builds. I do have my Salem Island, which I originally started quite a while back. I did get episode one of that finished. I have since finished the entire build and I do have all the footage for that. I just have not had a chance to cut it all together. I do want to start another build at Starlight Drive-In, mainly because I like the large area and I think I'll be able to do another town build. My idea for the new one would be something a little more lore friendly with Fallout. So that's what I'm looking to do and build next. So stay tuned for that.
it's a bummer this one is dead. I really wanted to continue on and I do plan on doing another town type build in the future because I really like doing those. But for now, this wraps it up for Fairline Hill Estates, unfortunately. With that being said, thanks for watching and until next time, hopefully without crashes. See you then.